So I want to come on here today and explain my personal opinions on the terms birther, birthing person and how transphobia and transphobic, the terminology, is being thrown around a lot right now. And I want to put my sort of two cents into the story. To everyone who watched my last video and shared and commented and liked, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you. Like, I was not expecting that and that wasn't why I posted the video. The reason why I felt so strongly about that, the women who are close to me in my life were getting really upset by what was going on with the terms like chest feeding and womb carriers and I just had to say something about it because it was going crazy. So if you want to watch that video, go and have a look. But let's get into what I think about the terms bertha and birthing person. I understand that for trans men and non-binary people who are giving birth, being called a mother would be super offensive. However, I don't agree with using the term birther and birthing person as a blanket term for everyone who gives birth. And let me explain why. If we look at the statistics of who gives birth, most, most people who give birth are women and mothers. So they should be called that. That is what they are. We can't take that away from them because it's dehumanizing them. That's how I would imagine they feel. However, I do agree with the inclusive language to make people feel comfortable. That's just common sense. As a trans woman and as trans people and non-binary people, we get to decide our labels and what we feel comfortable being called. So why is a small group of people pushing these labels onto women. Women get to decide what they are called. That's equality. That is literally the definition of equality. So yes, I agree with the inclusive language, but no, I don't think all people should be called birthing people because that is just not okay. This next point is probably gonna be controversial, but I'm just gonna say how I personally feel. People are overusing the words transphobic and transphobia. And hear me out before you go off at me. These words are there, so if we are felt and treated unjustly with inequality, we can call people out on it. But I feel like a lot of people right now are using these words if they don't like what someone is saying. And that's not okay. It's fear-mongering and it's creating a divide between people which we don't need. When we overuse these words, it's taking away their meaning and their gravity. It's also giving trans people a really bad reputation which we are fighting so hard to not have. I'm not saying for people to not use these words, I just think we need to think twice before we call someone transphobic just because their opinion is different to ours. Can I also just point out as well, in the comments in my last video, all women were commenting how much they support us and love us and want us to have a seat at the table, but don't take theirs. I think that's pretty simple. If you like the video, don't forget to follow.